to me? Could you not do that, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the George Christie story. I get this call from Arnold Copelson, who says, I have a friend who would love to play the janitor who's scraping the Somerset's name off his... I said, you, you, you have a friend who would love to play that part? I, yeah, I got to meet this person. So yeah, his name is George Christie. And I didn't know, the, I don't know who George Christie was. I didn't know about, you know, his column. And, and uh, the day, so Billy Hopkins, who cast the movie, came to me and says, George Christie wants to play it. I said, fine, you know, how old is he? He said, what is he in his 60s? He, he'll, he looks the part. And I said, okay, fine, you know, go get George Christie. So the day we're shooting that scene, we're all ready to go, and we don't have the janitor. The janitor's not here. And I said, well, what the fuck? You know, it's, it's now an hour late. We're ready to go. We're ready to shoot. Where's the janitor? And they said, well, we've called the car. The car picked him up. We know the car picked him up, but he's, they've obviously stopped somewhere, and we can't get the driver on the phone. I said, we sent a car for the guy who's playing the janitor? And they said, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's George Christie. And I was like... Who the fuck is George Christie? How come we're sending cars for the guy who's playing the janitor? This makes no sense. So finally they show up and he's, uh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm late. I, I, you know, I stopped to get a cappuccino and I didn't know who he was. I was just like, get the fuck into wardrobe. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and so he finally shows up and everybody's like telling me like you know you gotta behave it's George Christie and I was like who the fuck is George Christie he's got a powerful pen yeah exactly the pen is mightier than the sword <laughs>